Hey guys, welcome to Mini Mindy TV, and I'm back again with another video. Stop. Get down. So, in today's video, I want to talk about the problem in relationships these days. Um, I know a lot of us are young and a lot of us are older and we kind of have the same um, problems. So I just wanted to come and kind of like touch base on those things. Um, so the first problem that most relationships have is a level of communication because I feel like if most things are communicated well in advance or like when things happen or whatever it could kind of like prevent um, further problems later on and currently that's what my problem is sometimes I don't communicate well and I've realized that like I shut down and I just rather not say anything or rather just not deal with things and you can't do that when you're in a relationship with someone else with someone else because they have feelings and they deserve answers so um, even if you can't communicate right then at that moment because you're upset or you're um, irritated or whatever you need to just back yourself away for a couple of hours or whatever but always make sure that you bring yourself back to communicate what aggravated you or what upsets you or what hurt you or whatever that way you can have a solid communication ground that way everything could be good in the long run and I've learned that that's been hard for me because I'm just so used to shutting down but I'm working towards being better at that and that's my issue so um, yeah the next one is people's loyalty like I notice, like in a lot of relationships like people aren't loyal anymore like it's like as soon as you go through something they're just like willing to end things and just move on to the next person like nobody is really willing to work towards anything anymore anymore because they feel like they could find it in somebody else or they could get it from somebody else but you're not realizing that when you lack loyalty in your relationship and you think that it's so easy to go and get it from somebody else you're not realizing that you're also like buying into somebody else's problems or somebody else somebody else's new set of um things that they've been already had defaulted in their lives like like you're basically like buying into their shit like every relationship is gonna have shit and like you gotta choose the person that you want to go through this shit with so like yeah you might think oh she doesn't communicate well or she doesn't do this well or she doesn't do that so i'm just gonna find a person that does that but you gotta realize that when you have another relationship with somebody else there's going to be things that you don't like about that relationship too and like if you're so busy jumping around to the next relationship the next relationship the next relationship there's always going to be something about somebody that you don't like because nobody is perfect and everybody has their flaws so you just got to learn to be loyal to the person that is showing you their loyalty and showing you that they're willing to work towards something with you um what's the next thing that i've noticed is a problem i realized that sometimes social media can be a problem and i've had this problem in the past so like i'm not even going front y'all because I've done a lot of these things um, as soon as you start going through a relationship problem or whatever you go and you run the social media and you're like you're posting all these little memes or like little things that um, is related to currently what you're going through and I could say that I've done that and it boy Sorry, you guys. Cody's right here. 
chewing on something. Come on now, you're messing up my video. You damn chewing on fluff. I don't even know where he got the fluff from. Come on now. I don't even know where he got the fluff from, guys. But, um, yeah, you go, you run to social media and you're posting like all these little memes that directly talk about what you're going through or whatever and that could be very harmful in a relationship because there are people watching everything you post there are people you know what the hell cody sorry guys if you hear cody chewing that's because he is um let me just give him this back here and you know you go and you're like posting little memes and things like that that directly you know relate to what you're currently going through and you're not realizing that people are watching that shit and they're trolling your post because they're like oh something's happening again and here she is posting this stuff and i had to learn that the hard way because i used to do that in my previous relationship and that's not really good because you're basically like letting people know that there's issues happening and it's giving them room to come in and say hey i saw you post this that and the third let me talk to you real quick or let me try to be the person you're looking for or something like that and that's not good when you're in a relationship so stay off social media you can post things but don't post things directly related to whatever you're going through currently at the moment because it just brings people to come and talk to you it brings people in your relationship that you don't really need in your relationship and yeah so those are just a couple of the um things that i've seen that are problems in relationships these days um here's cody He's biting on his animal that he tore apart. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Catch you in the next video. So I catch you on the flip. So don't flop. And i see you again in the next video. Bye, guys. Alright, alright, alright. Sometimes we're insecure. We're fragile sometimes. We